Welcome to episode number seven of the Fit Traveler business blog, uh, video blog, I'm sorry. Uh, if you tuned into us a few minutes ago, I'm re-recording because as I was going back and watching, something weird happened with the video about halfway through, so I didn't want that to stay online, so I'm re, re, uh, re-taping. Um, today we're talking about hotel brands and actually how, how to select a hotel brand or a hotel that you're staying at for your trip. If you are a new business traveler or you maybe you've just never uh, created a loyalty with a hotel brand, it's super critical that you do so. I would suggest doing that for both hotels and airlines. Really the reason is, is business travel is a grind. It's really, really hard on an individual. It's really hard on a family. There are some great perks to being a frequent business traveler and one of them is their loyalty programs that will give you points that will lead to an eventual discounted vacation or maybe even a free vacation for your family. So it's just crucial that you pick a brand, you stick with it. Um, and, and then maybe in some cases you'll wanna have a secondary brand as well. So uh, all the as long as you're selecting from the top brands, they're all gonna be good. You can't go wrong with any of them. For your airline, it may depend on what city you're based out of are gonna have the most flight options. And then based on your, you know, for hotels, they, you kind of have the same options in every city that you go to. So it's really, really critical that you select a brand, not only for the re- rewards points, but then you've got to become familiar with each one of the sub brands within that brand. The reason is, is that it's, it's critical to know what they have to offer when it comes to planning for a fit trip. So um, let me give you a for instance. Whenever I prioritize my hotel, my sub-brands. Um, the reasons for the, the way I prioritize is first, I want budget-friendly. I want a consistent price point that's always gonna fit within the budget that I'm looking for, or at least frequently fit within that budget. Then I'm looking for consistent exercise options and consistent eating options. Sometimes a sub is gonna have a great fitness room in this hotel, uh, I'm sorry, in this city, and a poor one in this city, and that's just not helpful to me because I need to plan for those things. Um, having eating options that I can rely on there on site is super important. So about 15 years ago or so, I selected Marriott in that brand and I love it, but you know, I've also stayed at some great IHG uh, locations and Hilton and Sheridan and all these people, you're gonna be happy no matter where you go, just pick one and, and become familiar with it. So within the Marriott brand, the one that I've really just linked onto for years and years and years is Courtyard and it's because uh, it's because, I'm sorry, I'm just reading some, some of the messages. Thank you guys for, for sending notes to throughout that. I get distracted during it, but thank you. Um, some, uh, for Courtyard, I know their exercise room is going to have dumbbells up to 50 pounds. They're going to have an elliptical machine. They're going to have a treadmill, and they're going to have a bike. Just about every Courtyard that I've ever been in has that. That's not the ideal fitness room for me. I need more than that. Um, but at least I know what they have so I can plan my workout routine for the week based on what I know is going to be there. And then they've all got a bistro down in the lobby. And at that bistro, I know that they've got two healthy breakfast options that I really like. And then they've got one or two kind of somewhat healthy dinner options in case I get stuck there for dinner. So I'm going to have breakfast there probably every morning I'm there. I may have dinner there once or twice just depending on how that week goes and they've got options that I can rely on so then I can plan out my eating, uh, my eating routine for the week as well. So <clears throat> it's important that you select a brand and that you become familiar with those sub-brands so that you can plan accordingly. Another sub-brand within Marriott is Fairfield Inn and I've stayed at some great locations of Fairfield that had great exercise rooms and great eating options but it's inconsistent. I've stayed at other, Mar- uh, other Fairfield locations where the exercise room wasn't great, the eating options weren't great, and again, that's not helpful because my week gets planned according to what I know. So Courtyard's the one I've stuck with, and I know that you'll be able to find those sub-brands within whatever category you select or whatever major brand you select. Some of the big brands are now designing hotel, hotel room options or entire hotels around health and wellness and fitness, and this is amazing. This, is gonna, this could really change the way that business travelers go about this. Um, I know that there's a couple of the Marriott and MGM properties have rooms called the Stay Well Room that you can select from. Um, and then let's see, there, there's the 
uh, Wyndham Hotel, I think that they have some fitness rooms. They're actually called fitness rooms where they've got fitness options inside your hotel room if you select that. And then the, I, the IHG brand created the entire Even Chain, and this is a whole hotel designed for fitness and wellness. And they, I think all the rooms have little fitness areas and stretching areas and all this, and this is amazing. These are, these are great, great options if you ever have the chance to stay at one. The limitation with these is they're not in a major footprint, so it's, you're not gonna have these options in every major city that you travel to. And in some cases, the price point just doesn't fall within the budget requirements for the frequent business traveler. So when you're traveling to a different city every week, or maybe you're in two cities every week, you need to have those consistent options. And, and most of the sub-brands, you know, in every major city or even, even smaller cities, you're gonna be able to find a courtyard, a fair field, a uh, home to suites, a holiday and express. The ones that you're used to, you're gonna be able to find those in the cities that you travel in. So if you have a chance to stay in one of those hotels um, that you know, has fitness and wellness uh, as, a, as a theme within it, great. You, it, it hits the price point you want, it's in the city you want, that's great. But you need to have kind of your go-to sub-brands that you can rely on for, for your every day, every week trip. This week is a little unique for me. I'm going to Orlando for a conference and I'm staying in a hotel that's kind of one of these conference hotels that I don't know anything about. I'm sure they've got a fine fitness room and, and it's gonna be great, but I don't even need to look at it because this conference that I'm going to has an early morning workout in the exhibit hall utilizing the new best fitness equipment. So I'm gonna have great workouts while I'm there. I don't have to worry about the hotel. I do need to look at what their eating options are on site so I can begin to plan and see what I need to take in my suitcase in terms of supplements and things like that. Um, but it's a, it's a conference hotel, so I'm sure there's gonna be a few different restaurant options for me. But normally, I would know, hey, I'm going, I'm staying in a courtyard, here's the workout routines I'm gonna do on Wednesday and Thursday. That allows me to plan my Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and it's really crucial in, in that living a fit travel life for frequent business travelers. So um, if you have any other tricks or tips or you know some other hotel chains or brands that are really helping you out, please send them to me. Um, you can find us and send me a note through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You'll find us at Fit1440. Um, go to the written blog as well so you, can, so you can see this and follow it, which is on our website, fit1440.com. And then email me, john at fit1440.com. I'd love to hear some of these tips from you. If you've got any questions about hotels, if you're having any struggles, send those over to me. I'd love to try to help you out. Thanks for following. I hope you'll stay with us and, uh, again next week, and I look forward to seeing you.